for the movements today. So we got a little chest uh, and some triceps, and then we sprinkled a little bit of core. That's probably what we're going to be doing this week. Uh, but as you get through the workout, you guys can do this in any order that you would like. Your warm up is going to be a spin burpee combo. So one of us is going to start spinning on a jump rope or a bike, while the other is going to start off with 10 burpees, chest down to the floor and exploding back up to the top. So if he does 10 burpees, after he does 10, he goes into spins. I'm going to do nine burpees. Uh, once I get done with nine burpees, I go back into spins. He's going to do eight. So he's going to do all of the evens down to two. I'm going to do all of the odds down to one. You guys can go in any order that you would like. We're just going to start at the top and work our way down. Tricep band hold is your first active rest here. So you're just going to hold it straight down with those arms uh, completely locked out, just holding that the whole time. While your partner has a couple movements before you switch, starting off with tricep dips. So up here on the boxes, keeping the body nice and close to the box here. We're going to drop it down nice and deep at 90 degrees. And then you're going to lock out the elbows at the top. After you knock out your 10 dips, dropping it down and hitting 40 push-ups. Get that chest all the way down to the ground here. Okay, 40 is a lot, so if at any point you need to drop down to your knees, please feel free to do so, okay? Again, 40 is a lot, so if at any time you need to stop, shake it out, and then get right back into it, because uh, once, once you start to get tired, those uh, push-ups, they start to look a little bit more like we're going only halfway down. So, would much rather you guys stop halfway. Uh, dips are gonna go up by 10 to 40. Push-ups are going to go down by 10 to 10. Your interval today, uh, you and your partner are both going to do this one at the same time. It's just a Russian, or jackknife Russian twist combo. Um, light to moderate dumbbell if you would like it. You're going to hit two jackknives and then two Russian twists. And you would just hit four jackknife, four Russian twists, then six and six, and then eight and eight. And then you will move on to the next movement. That's going to stay the same the whole time. So you're just going to do that little ladder every time you complete a section. Next, you got hammerheads, okay? This is a skull crusher, but it's a little more fast paced. Um, just like the hammer curls, when you're already coming down with one, you're going up with the other, okay? So same thing with the skull crusher here. Once you start coming up with the other, you're going down with the other. Hinging at the elbows, again, it's a little bit more faster paced, uh, so maybe grabbing something just a little bit lighter. Chest lines is the main movement here. Um, so you're gonna go out nice and wide, okay? Just a slight bend in your elbows here. Kissing those elbows to the ground, coming back up and squeezing at the top. The reps are going to stay the same on this one at 25 every time, uh, and you got that for four rounds a piece. Um, next, you've got flat bench, okay, done over on the power racks. Um, starting off with 20, so this will be your lightest weight here, okay? I would like for everybody to at least be using the text as far as even the 33. Out bars with the one with the red tape in the middle. Uh, most all of us can do that, even that way, okay? So, nice wide grip here is what we're looking for. Outside of our shoulders, we're going down to the center part of our chest and then coming back uh, to the top here, okay? Uh, once you guys go all the way down to your chest, again, that wide grip, starting off with 20. Um, and as always, those last couple reps, your partner is there to just help finish that set out, okay? On every set, I would really like for you guys to um, have that last couple reps be a stroke for your partner who needs to be there. So challenge yourself on the way on that one. Down by fives here, 20, 15, 10, and five. Next one, kickbacks is your active rest. Um, take a lot of weight on this one. Again, I want you guys in that deadlift posture. Upper body's almost parallel to the ground here. Um, looking at the ground, that's really been helping a lot lately um, because if we can stand upright and look around, that means we're probably not doing it right, okay? So get down there, look at the ground, elbows up, the plant, up above the plane of the back here, and then lock in those elbows, and then back to the bottom there. Plate press is the main movement here. I want you guys sandwiching weights in between your hands. If you're not gripping them whatsoever today, okay? So we're coming to the center part of your chest while squeezing those plates together, and then pressing straight forward here, okay? Again, really focus on that squeeze there. Uh, reps are staying the same on this one at 15. Again, four rounds a piece. Last one you got. Plank, active rest, palm or forearm position, uh, up to you. And then the main move is going to be overhead extension. We are going to be using a bar today on this one. Okay, so more of a narrow grip, still keeping those elbows in nice and tight to the head here. And then you're going to pull those arms, those hands straight up, locking down the elbows at the top once again. Make sure we're going all the way down, get that stretch there, and then all the way up, locking it out at the top. Starting off 20, 15, 10, and Five. Any questions? 